All right, Rex, I've, uh, I've answered a few of your questions before, I think. Yeah? Sure. Uh, Muslim? Peace be with you. Uh, how do I deal with the fact that death is final? Uh, it really doesn't bother me. I don't know why you can't quite grasp that. I don't know why that's such a big deal. Uh, death isn't, um, it doesn't strike me as a frightening thing. Everybody dies. Uh, how's that phrase go? Uh, uh, death is the great equalizer? Yeah, every, every living thing Every single, you know, whether it's a person or an animal or a plant, every single living thing in the universe, I suspect, but at least on this planet, dies. Everything dies. So it's not just me. It's not like I'm being singled out. Everybody dies. That's it. Just get over it. Big deal. There's, there's nothing wrong with something terribly frightening about the cessation of existence, about the, the shutting off of your consciousness. It's not a frightening thing. And just, you know, just deal with it. It's not hard. Uh, grieving process, losing a loved one. Yeah, like most people, I've, uh, I've seen some family members die. I had a close friend of mine die in a car crash. I've had a couple of classmates die over the years. How do we deal with the grieving process? I think we deal with the grieving process much like any other person. There is a an initial sadness that comes over and um, and then it fades with uh, it fades with time. Eventually you get to the point where you only remember the good things about a person and you don't uh, don't remember the annoying things that they used to do <laughs> or the annoying things now just become funny you can laugh about them where they really pissed you off before now it's now it's okay a good example is uh, uh one of my uh, catholic catholic friend um died in a car crash he was very he's very young he uh he wasn't finished with high school yet he used to chew his gum with his mouth open I make that smacking sound. It irritated the hell out of me. Really, it really irritated the hell out of me. It's just one of those things like, will you close your mouth? And uh, yeah, after he died, it just, um, uh, that in anybody doesn't bother me anymore. Um, it's funny how, you know, things that were important to you, as soon as somebody dies in your life all of a sudden you realize how you know how insignificant it is how how precious life is cuz it's so it's so short and it's so and death is so final so you know make make life count right now but uh, the the grieving process is uh <laughs> it's well documented in psychology that the steps that a person goes through and um emotional changes in the Chemical changes in the brain can be can be tracked. It's a it's a neurophysiological thing. The grieving process is a very natural thing. The the myths and stories of various religions put on top of that is uh, it, it's 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 a superficial superficial coding. The, the 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 real thing you have to concern yourself with is the emotion. The, the mythos that you pile on top of it is is extra and and unnecessary. Uh, how do we care about life? How do we? This. You, <laughs> I remember you were trying to tell me what my mindset was. That my mindset is that this isn't real. This is a hologram. This is real. <laughs> Damn it! This is real. You know, I. It's real enough anyway. I, I can't prove that it's real. It's it seems real enough, you know. It seems real enough so that I don't bother thinking about if it's if I'm oh I'm I'm plugged into a machine or something. It's, it's like it's so complicated. It doesn't doesn't cross my mind. This being real is the simplest explanation to me. So yes, I care about this 
reality like I would care about any reality you could think of because it's real it doesn't come across as a hologram to me I don't I don't understand where you're where you're going with that anyway how do we care about life it's very easy I care about the people that I know I care about the things that I do uh, stuff I create it's a, it's a very tangible and real caring on your know, emotional attachments to people in my in my family my friends and loved ones it's it's I can't think it's any different than how you care about life I think it's pretty much exactly the same the only difference is that you incorporate a mythology into it somehow even when I was a theist the, the the religious concepts didn't quite seem to fit some of them are true you know stuff like a uh, golden rule stuff that works you know stuff that you know do unto others as you would have them do unto you stuff that works in a social setting that's valuable to have but you don't need to associate a religion into it to to get through your day to 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 use it on a daily basis i i don't understand why you would think it would be different for an atheist i really don't know where you're coming from with this and why you would think that i think that this isn't real i don't get i i really don't know where you're coming from 